welcome back to my youtube channel for today's video i am gonna show you how i did my nails for christmas holidays so just to let you know i am not pro at doing nails and this is just a hobby for me so let's start so this is my nails before i do them and usually i start with cleaning up my cuticles and I do this by pushing back my cuticles with this tool, I don't know what it's called. And then cutting it with the other end of the tool which cuts the cuticle. And um, usually I come back and re-push them so they're nice and neat and cut them with nipper. Now I'm gonna use my e-file to file off the excess cuticles that are left. I'm gonna use this attachment, the long one, and I'm gonna use it to file off the sides and the cuticle area. Now I am going to be using a different attachment to my e-file and I am going to make sure that everything is cleaned up before I do the next step. Okay, next step, I am going to be buffing my nail bed with this file and making sure that there is no shine left on my nail bed because it helps to keep the product on my nail and it will also last longer if I do this process. For the next step, I am going to be shaping my nails because sometimes the tips doesn't fit well and I'll have to shape it according to the tips that I am going to use. Now I'm taking out the tips that I am going to use and the glue. And for the next step, I am going to be moving the tips on my nails. Now I am going to be trying on some of the tips to see what size fits my nail better. So the tips should be fitting from side to side. Sometimes when the tips are a little big, I try to file off some of the sides and after that, if it fits well, I am going to glue on the tips to my nails with the KDS glue and try it to do it to all of my fingernails. For the next step, I am going to be cutting the tips to the length that I want. I usually want my nails to be a little bit longer because it makes my hand look better. And moving on to the next step, I am going to be using the e-file with this attachment to connect my uh, tips to my fingernails. I usually just gently use the e-file to connect the the tips to my fingernails and this helps a lot with keeping my nails to last like a little longer and of course I am gonna do that with all of my fingernails and after that I am just gonna use the file and a nail clipper to shape my nails 
I usually just use the nail clipper to cut off the sides because I usually want a coffin shape and sometimes I do like round shape depending on my leggings and I do that and after using the nail clipper I am now using the file to smooth out the edges and try and make it not as pointy how I shape my tips and now of course I am now gonna be doing that to all of my nails and here is my nails all filed and shaped okay I'm gonna move on to putting on my nail dehydrator onto my nails and this keeps my nails to last longer just like how other steps does and also I'm gonna put some nail primer to prime it up I got used on putting on some gel builder on top of the tips because it helps a lot with keeping the nails even and also it gives more strong outcome and also it builds up the apex which is the highest point of the nail. First, gel builder is very hard to work with because of its runny consistency which makes it a lot harder to, to shape it so I have to work faster than other nail products. I just cure it for 30 seconds just to set it in place and then do the other nails. And now I'm done putting the gel builder on all of my fingernails and I am gonna move on to the next step. But before we go to the next step, I have to wipe off the sticky layer on top of the gel builder and I'm gonna do that to all of my nails again. Next, I am going to be using the file to file the surface of the gel builder. It helps just to keep it nice and even and I'm also going to do that to all of my nails. After buffing it out and evening it out, it's nice and smooth on the surface. And I am now applying the base coat onto my nails, making sure they're nice and even. of the nails are coated as you can see I am now going to apply the gel polish which is color red 
because for me red represents Christmas holidays and I'm gonna do that to all of my nails again <laughs> polish in place the next thing that I am going to do is I am gonna design my nails and first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply liquid latex to the fingers that I'm gonna work on I am using my stamping kit here and I am gonna apply just the normal white polish and scrape it off with the scraper and use the stamp to stamp it, stamp it onto my nails and of course I am also gonna do that to my other finger and I'm gonna do a different design Now that I'm done stamping my nails, I am now going to use the orange stick to gently release the latex from the sides of my finger and gently going to pull it off of my finger. And of course, I am also going to do that to the other finger that I used the latex on. And for the last step, I am going to be applying some top coat to my fingernails. But just before I cure them, I am going to apply some gems to my index finger just to add some decorations on there. applying the gem I am now going to cure my fingers and I am gonna apply another coat of top coat on my index finger just to fill in the gem onto my nails and of course after that I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds and I am going to apply some cuticle oil to my cuticles just to rehydrate my cuticles and put some moisture on it. And now here is the final product. That's it. Thank you for watching my video. And again, just to let you know, I'm not a professional nail technician so everything in this video might be wrong or might be right but it's just what works for me please like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and have a good day